Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. We've seen a lot of different leaks and rumors and different information about Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 surface over the past month or so. It's been a crazy month of leaks and rumors. And today the trend continues. We've got some new information on what appears to be the next rebirth map in Warzone 2. So we got quite a bit to break down today as we go through it all. If you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. it would be seriously appreciated. And if you're new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed, every single day I got you covered with all things going on in COD. News, updates, loadouts, tips, you're going to find it all right here. So feel free to hit that sub button. That way you can always stay up to date. Now, per usual, as always with leaks and rumors, everything we're talking about here today is subject to change. However, this information is coming from Tom Henderson, who we've talked about time and time and time again here on the channel, right? So he's established a very credible track record when it comes to leaks and rumors and insider information, especially for Call of Duty. So while everything here today is not 100% official, it is coming from a very, very credible source. So take that for what it's worth. But as always, take everything with a grain of salt. And like I said, this entire little blog that uh, Tom ended up posting is in regards to the next Rebirth map. Now, there's been a big question going around ever since Warzone 2 was first initially quote unquote revealed during a creator call with Raven a few months back where they said, yeah, we're making a new Warzone. Warzone 2 is going to be coming at some point here in the future. We still don't have an exact release date. We'll talk more on that a bit later on into the video, but we've obviously heard various leaks and rumors about the new uh, Warzone map, the main Warzone map that features areas like Favela and High Rise and Terminal. We've gone in and broken down all the leaked locations and everything in a separate video. So if you want to check that out, by all means, feel free to do so. But while all that information was coming out and all those leaks and rumors were building, a massive question was going around. Cool, you know, we've got a new Warzone map coming, but what about Rebirth? Are we going to see another Resurgence map? I really shouldn't say another Rebirth map because Rebirth is the map. Resurgence is really what we're looking for. A new Resurgence sized map. Are we going to see that second smaller map make its way into Warzone 2? Well, here's what Tom has to say. Sources have said that a second map for Warzone 2 is well into development, but it is likely to release sometime after Warzone 2 launches. So before we get any further into this article whatsoever, we can assume that at launch for Warzone 2, we're going to have this new main map that we've talked about before, High Rise, Favela, Terminal, all those locations and whatnot. Uh, but it seems like that's going to be the only map at launch. Now, I assume we're going to have different modes for that Battle Royale, Plunder, maybe some other LTMs. So there will be plenty of content on that. But similar to Warzone 1, we're not going to have that smaller second map or that resurgence map right away. Instead, that'll be uh, in season content later on. Tom continues by saying not much is currently known about the second map, but it has been suggested that it could be similar in size to Rebirth Island from the original Warzone. One source who was recently partaking in a recent playtest for Warzone 2 said that the map was visible in the menu of the game, but the curator had stated that the map is currently in early development, was not able to be played quite yet. So it's still being built and that sort of reiterates the fact that we're probably not going to see it right at launch. Tom does also go on to say that it's not entirely clear when exactly this second map is going to be released, but it's likely to release during year two of Modern Warfare 2 cycle if the Warzone trend of content continues. This would indicate that the second map is likely to release in December of 2023. So that is essentially the rumored and the quote unquote leaked time frame for this map. We would get the initial Warzone 2 map with all those locations that we've talked about before, and we'll have that for what appears to be roughly a year or so. Very similar to Warzone 1, where we had OG Verdansk for quite some time. And then I think, what, Cold War Season 2 introduced Rebirth Island? Season 1 or Season 2 there ended up adding that in, which I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of surprised that it'd be that long of a gap. I would figure, you know, maybe three, four months, let players get familiar with the new big map and then potentially add in that smaller app. Because obviously, Rebirth in Warzone right now is more popular than ever before. Caldera has very mixed opinions on it. And so in that time since Caldera launched, Rebirth's popularity has absolutely skyrocketed. So the fact that we'd be waiting till December of 2023, essentially, to see that new map, uh, that's quite some time. 
uh, to go without that smaller mode. Now, it's very possible we could see the new map have resurgence LTMs where it's cut down versions of that. We could see other surprises in the meantime as well. And of course, Warzone 1 is still going to be there with Rebirth Island if you really want to play that over the new uh, Warzone 2 stuff. But yeah, definitely some very interesting news there. But then Tom also goes on in this article to talk about the uh, rumored and speculated release date for Warzone 2. He says assumptions that uh, can be made that Warzone 2 is probably going to follow a relatively similar schedule to the original Warzone when it comes to being released which was in March 2020, obviously, meaning Warzone 2 would theoretically release in March 2023. But that's not exactly what Tom's been hearing. He's saying it's been suggested that that does not seem to be the case. Warzone 2 will seemingly not release on Modern Warfare 2's launch, but will release soon after. He actually ends up mentioning that during a company-wide meeting, apparently, they said that Warzone 2 will be dropping a couple of months after MW2 instead of, you know, in March of 2023. So late 2022 would potentially be that launch date and release date for Warzone 2. This could very well end up changing, but Tom says the current plan is to release Warzone 2 around December 2022 or January 2023. And that's where things get very interesting because as I've talked about before on the channel, actually, releasing major Warzone updates, or in this case, a new Warzone game, right before the holidays has not exactly, uh, you know, ended up being the best plan of action. Because if we look back, Cold War's integration, the biggest update in Warzone to date at the time, they dropped it, things were incredibly broken, none of the attachments on Cold War guns worked right, we had DMR zone going on, and because the update dropped right before the holidays, all the devs were out of office, and for two weeks we had just the most broken state of Warzone ever. And then we fast forward to this year, the Vanguard integration and Caldera. That all drops just before the holidays. Again, there were several things that were incredibly broken. We had console basically unplayable. Xbox Live was completely broken for Warzone. The Demon Glitch was back. And for several weeks, we had no updates because the devs were out of office for the holidays. So to hear that Warzone 2 might be dropping in December, just before all the devs go on holiday break yet again, leaves me a little bit worried. Now, if it does end up dropping in January 2023, like Tom also mentions is a possibility, that to me would be completely A-OK. -okay. All the devs are back from break. They're in grinds mode after that. Uh, the game obviously would have full attention without any breaks, without any long lapses in devs being there to actually work on the game, fix things, update it, so on and so forth. Of course, as time goes on, we're going to get more official information on this, and I'd imagine that in the coming months, we have a much better timeline as to what's going on with Warzone 2. It is curious because I imagine we're going to have entirely separate reveal events for Warzone 2 versus tethering it with Modern Warfare 2 just to build separate hype for each game. And we know that the MW2 reveal is coming up here pretty soon. We have no idea about Warzone 2, though, so we'll have to keep our eyes out for that. Of course, whenever any information surfaces, leaks or rumors or even official information from Call of Duty or Infinity Ward or Raven, you already know we're going to be covering it right here on the channel. So stick it here for that and everything else going on in Call of Duty. Make sure you're subscribed with those notifications turned on. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by dropping a like on it. It would be seriously appreciated. But all that said, that is going to wrap things up for today. Quick reminder, if you ever want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, Gamer Advantage, and Control Freak products. And all those links can be found down in the description below. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.